Hello! Um, this is my July favourites. Um, I nearly said hello bar then. <gasps> God, that would have been awful. Copyright. Ding, ding, ding. Right. Um, I'm going to go straight into it because my July favourites, it's not a great deal here, but you know, whatever. The first favourite I'm going to go to is these because they have been a godsend. Um, with all the hot weather and you know feeling sticky and sweating you tend to get really dry skin now the two original ones i bought were these the um fresh sort of yellow like yellow colored one and oh dear itchy now sorry and my favorite obviously cocoa radiant one um I love these they're really nice um my daughter i've actually got my daughter into these now my eldest daughter she she likes this one this is her favorite it's nice and fresh she uses it when she gets out the shower it is really nice actually i'm just gonna have to spray it because oh. yes it is it's a sort of morning one getting out the shower feeling nice and clean and fresh and yeah it does moisturize the skin fantastic i have done a review on this um it's only a few videos back so if you want to go and find that you can see what my views and thoughts are on these i love them um this is my absolute all-time favorite uh i just love the smell of cocoa cocoa butter whatever i have actually got this one and this one in the original creams um which i do still use but this is a fantastic invention and i love them and i've been using this one and this one continuously and they still feel full it's amazing so yeah this one is my ultimate favorite and of course i went out and bought this one the other day um don't know if i hauled it but i'm hauling it now it's the aloe fresh one and this is just nice as well put it on that side yes yeah, just a i don't know everyday average aloe scent but it is it's, they're just so nice and they do moisturize your skin and they keep you gorgeous looking all day um so yeah, that's my first favourite. Second favourite, again, is sort of a moisturiser thing. This, again, has also been a godsend um, over the last few weeks because of sunburn and all this sort of stuff. And it's the uh, Garnier Ombre Solaire After Sun, and it's in the tub. And this one, I do believe, is the Refreshing Sorbet. I can't remember if I bought the other one or not. But it just smells like this one. is melon. Oh, melon extract gorgeous absolutely gorgeous it's like a gel consistency can you see that in the lid um it rubs into the skin really nice it's cooling it's it just glides on the skin it's like a gel so it glides on rather than a cream that you have to rub in sunburn it glides on lovely and it's really nice so i've been smothering that all over my kids that got burnt in the beach um let's go for this one this i have been absolutely loving since I bought them in Poundland. Um, yeah, I got them in Poundland. Um, these are the Radox, uh, I don't know, they're just fresh, fruity, uplifting smells. This is the pink grapefruit and basil. If you can see that there, pink grapefruit and basil. And it's just heavenly. It cleans the body perfectly. It doesn't leave your skin dry. It's got the most gorgeous, refreshing, wake up in the morning smell um and it just makes you feel lovely i've got this also in the orangey one and i've got it in the lime and green tea and i love them i've got backups of these um because everybody seems to like this one now ever since this has gone in the shower all the other shower gels got pushed aside and this one gets used the most um this is my second one of these by the way so there's that one now we're going to go on to just normal everyday what everyone wants to see makeup um daily essentials by nivea facial cleansing wipes i love these these are the green ones i use the green ones or the blue ones because i don't like the pink ones i don't know why they're for dry skin i haven't got dry skin um there goes the dogs downstairs um these are for all skin types so that's not too bad they've got vitamin e and pro vitamin b5 in they've got no fragrance no alcohol no oil and no color so yeah i love these i use these day and night um i even use these after or before my um cleansing and toning routine that i seem to be getting back into now i chop and change all the time i'm just a nightmare 
I don't know if you could hear that. That was me banging the floor. It doesn't shut the dogs up. I don't know why I did it. Um, so that's those. That's the Nivea ones. These are on special offer on Superdrug at the moment for £1.51 a pack, which is good. Uh, next favourite I'm going to go for is... Mm, moisturiser as such I haven't been using a great deal of because... I mean, I have got one here, but it's... Because um, of the a sun and that and i get really oily and sweaty and ugh, horrible i don't need to talk about things like that um i saw this in the 99p store and i bought it and it's just been really good and it's a factor 50 for your face so there you go that's 50 there and it's by l'oreal and it's uv perfect um what does it say long lasting uv a uvb protector um it helps to fight against brown spots skin darkening and premature skin aging and it gives you an even complexion it's quite a funny color it's not it's not clear but it's not tinted it's let me just rub it in the back of my hand it just i don't know what it does yeah it doesn't leave a tinted thing on your face at all just leaves a really nice it's nice and clear um it doesn't go greasy it dries to a sort of mattish finish um, I'm hoping the 99p store has still got these in because I'm going to go back and get some more um, because they are really good for the sun. But even if it's not sunny, you still get like sunburnt from the rays out there. So this has been really good all day, every day, like protection against the sun and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, love it. So I've been using that every day in the sun, which is probably why I haven't got that sunburnt on my face. I don't think I have anyway. Um then for eye care i've been using my lacura face care restorative eye cream for mature skin um i love this i know chocky Kaz loves this uh i love it it's really good so i've got that and it just helps with the old creasing around the eyes and the old crow's feet um for primers which i have been using because if i do wear makeup you don't stay on if i don't wear this uh my favorite has been for the last couple of months actually and that's the fix and protect no fix and perfect um and it's the clear one it's the primer from rimmel and i love it um, it's getting low so friday there'll be this in a haul because i should be getting some more um as i said for foundation i haven't been wearing it today actually is the first day i've got foundation on i don't know if you can tell because the sun is well the light is beaming through the curtain over there but i have actually got a proper foundation on today i have got what have i got what have i got bourgeois um healthy mix so i've got that one today i think it's the original one not the new formula um but besides that the last month i've been wearing this and this is my pure bb cream and i've got mine in light i have actually got this in light and ultra light um because it does come out it does look really dark when it comes out the tube, but it's not. Once you've rubbed it in, it blends in perfectly. Um, but yeah, I've been wearing this practically every day and I've got loads of backups of these, so I don't really matter how much of that I use. Um, obviously as well, the good old fashioned concealer that we all know, we all love. Um, this one's in medium, but I have got all three colors. Um, this one suits my skin tone at the moment. Uh, yeah, just cover up any sort of like blemishes which i've got a lot of because i've been sweating um powder i go for my clear complexion obviously because of my spots and um, the rimmel stay matte in the clear transparent 101 um no it's not 101 it's 021 um transparent see that there um just a really light sort of you know stay matte powder i love it i've got most of the colors in them too bronzing i've got sort of one i've got two here but if i go for like a heavy contour bronzer then i will use my b by super drug in light which you can see there and that's just bronzer it's got shimmery bits in it but no sort of like shimmery bits that you can see as such when it's on your skin um it's a very light one i don't know if you'll be able to see it it's just there um but apart from that if i just want an all over glow i have been using dogs having a funny um if i have an all over glow then i've been using my color wheel from nyc and that's this one in translucent highlighter glow well that's what it says anyway but it's that one and if you swirl it round 
you just get sort of like a really nice glowy sort of yeah, you're not be able to see that there but that's sort of here um it just gives you like a nice transparent sort of glow there's something there but you don't know what it is sort of thing so i'm wearing that uh for my eyes i've only been really wearing a couple of colors because it's just they're just easy and easy to grab uh for a base because i have been wearing a base to keep my eyeshadow on in a sweat is my frankie girl from um dainty doll which i love um been using that all the time and the two colors that i've been using mainly are my um, famous by sue moxley and these are shade one uh, no shade nine and shade 11 which are the green and the sort of purpley colors i don't know you guys they both look the same color on there they're not that's the sort of there you go that's a true representation of the color there that's the blue and my very very soft frightened it's going to break lilac -y purple color um and you can see it's sort of broken there and there but it's this one it's just like mousse it's so soft look that was literally i hardly touched it um but yeah i absolutely love that love it love it love it and um, been wearing that pretty much all the time then good old waterproof mascara i've got my nyc showtime which i love i love the brush on it i love the consistency of it it's just a really nice thin brush um it goes on it doesn't budge you can sweat like mad and it doesn't come off so i love that um quickly go through the last two things the lipstick i've been using mostly at the moment is my nyc flirty and it's the um expert last rouge whatever it is um it's this one here and it's just like a really really nice sort of pinky color don't think I see that. It's really, really nice. I did have someone, but I haven't got any on at the moment. So I to use y'all uh, to put it on. So that's what it looks like when it's on. Um, love that. It stays on for ages. Not drying. Sort of gives a satiny sheen. And to finish everything off, because... If I do put makeup on and it's been this hot, then it just comes straight up again if I don't use this. And that's my favourite spray, which is the Attitude 12-hour um, makeup fixing spray. And the last thing I will mention, even though it doesn't look like I've been using it, I actually have because obviously the blonde bits at the end would go brassy if I didn't use this. And this is the Sheer Blonde Go Blonder. But like I said, I'm doing my, I did say in another video I'm doing my roots later, so um, hopefully this should keep them up. But yes, that is it. That's all my favourites. I'm absolutely loving everything I've been using this month. Um, there are probably a couple of other things, but that's what I could think of straight away. Um, yeah, please leave a video response of your favourites below or if you don't like anything that I've showed or whatever, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you all in my next video, guys. It's so nice to see you all again.